so I figured now's as good a time to do this as any. So we had a little family skull session today and might as well decide to tell you folks who watch this channel about a direction shift that we're going to make. We're going to pivot and sort of uh, do what we originally anticipated uh, with the Life Out Loud channel. Rather than producing videos about what it is that we're doing uh, and, you know, having cool editing and cool music, which Sierra is absolutely exceptional at, we are going to move into a, a series. I don't want to say a series. We're just going to shift the entire focus of the channel and go back to what we had originally thought, and that is who we are. Not a lot about what it is that we do, but really the underlying reasons why we do what we do. Why did we take a perfectly good diesel engine and convert it to run on waste vegetable oil? Why did uh, we build an underground house? Uh, why did uh, we decide to have me leave forever walk away from a very lucrative career in international business to, you know, be a farmer, right? Why did we do these things? Why do we sail? Why do we travel the way we do? And I think that really gets to the heart of who we are. And I think that one of the biggest risks that we decided to take a year ago when we started the Life Out Loud channel is to share our life. And I think initially uh, what ended up happening is Sierra just got so good at editing and she was having an artistically amazing time with it. Uh, we all love watching the videos, but it doesn't really convey the lessons that we've learned along the way as we navigate life's trials discover life's treasures and share the meaning that we find along the way so well thank you for that dad it was very nice of you to say uh in all honesty it's nice to hear because there's this level of validation that i seek because i'm putting a lot of work into this stuff a lot of work and it has honestly caused me a lot of stress and over the past year we've been on YouTube a year uh, I've developed anxiety straight up because of being on social media and it's not just trying to create for social media even though that's pretty much the root I think everybody knows this is that when you're on social media scrolling through or watching stuff you come away feeling worse, in a sense. And I think that that's because other people are vying for your attention and trying to change your behavior to get you to buy something. I don't want to be a part of manipulating life, reality, for views, for attention, for validation, right? And... It kind of started going down that road, started getting faster paced because you got to keep people's attention. It started getting more dramatic because people love drama. That's what gets views. And it started just feeling over edited. And we, that's what we talked about is the fact that this is a little odd. The parts of social media that I don't like are what I started making because it's very easy to slip into because it's a means to an end. And that's not what this is. We are not held down by money, by a big corporation, by anything because we have a farm and people support us and that is awesome. We have the freedom to, you know what, we're going to die to the old way and start completely new because we can and i'm excited because this is just what happens in life <laughs> sometimes you go down the wrong road gotta make a course correction 
and I'm excited for this course correction. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say here. Let's, uh, let's keep watching. I'd say starting next week, uh, you're gonna see a uh, little more raw, less artistic editing, and just more about who we are. Because uh, our story uh, is a lot of people's stories uh, that are struggling with a lot of things in this world. This is not an easy thing to navigate, this, this life. And, and how we live it, how we deal with adversity, how we deal with complexities of other human beings. And uh, we, we're going we're gonna to stop showing, you know, kind of the polished version. And we're going to just tell, tell it like it is. And uh, so if that's interesting to you, well, great. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And if you do like that approach, well, hit the like button, I guess. But really, that's not what we're after. We're not, we're not striving to build this gargantuan audience and uh, be YouTube sensations in social media. I really think what we're looking to do is reach people who have an idea and just need just that tad bit of inspiration to go get it and uh you know after nearly two decades of pursuing that path and struggling along the way i think that maybe just for a few people if that works then that works for us <laughs> so buckle up everybody it might be a fun ride peace